What up folks, Alex here. Welcome to Mr. Alex Tech. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the new video collage feature within DaVinci Resolve 17. Because DaVinci Resolve 16 didn't really have a nice easy way of doing the split screen effect. So they've introduced a new one in DaVinci Resolve 17, which is a little bit easier. It's actually really useful if you're doing sort of a Skype chat sort of video or a virtual choir, or even if you're just messing around like I am now. So with all that out of the way, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So let's fire up DaVinci Resolve and take a look, shall we? Did I do it? Did I get it? Did I get it right? Yeah. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve and we're currently on the edit tab. Now, as you can see, I've already imported some media and I've got my timeline set up ready to go. Now, the first track that we're gonna work on is gonna be our background track. Now, I'm gonna use video track one because it makes sense here, but it doesn't have to be video track one. What you just need to bear in mind is we're gonna set a track up that will be your background, and then you'll add everything else on top of that track. So if you want to use a video for the background, you can do, simply grab any of your media, put it on the timeline like so, and then that's gonna be your background. Or if you want, you can use a photo. So this is a photograph. I can use that instead. Or if you want just a solid color and you want to be able to pick the color of your background, you can use a solid color generator. So we're gonna to go to the effects library, the toolbox, generators, grab a solid color and just put that on your video track one. Make it whatever length you need it to be. Give it a click, open up the inspector and then from video generator, just choose the color from the color picker and you can have your background color to be whatever color you want it. Let's make this a nice dark blue. So that's our background sorted. We can now start to add our additional video tracks or layers to start building up this video collage or split screen, whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna grab a video. I'm just gonna put that on video track two above our video track one, AKA our background. And then with that on there, we're just gonna to go to the toolbox again within the effects library. This time we're gonna come down to open effects. We're gonna scroll down until you see this area, it's the Resolve FX Transform. And we're going to grab this one, the video collage, and we're going to drag that onto this video track number two and just release. And it will do something strange like this. So what it's trying to do is to turn this clip here into our background, which is why it's cut the space out for our tiles. Now you can do it this way, but I find it to be a little bit pointless. I think it's much easier just to have a video track underneath, which is going to become your background and you add the tiles on top. So from here, give this clip a click. Within the inspector, go to the effects tab, make sure to double click the video collage if it's closed and you'll see this screen here. So as you can see, the workflow says create background, which is why it's creating this background for us. As I just mentioned, you can do it that way, but I find it to be a little bit long-winded, so I prefer to just use the tiles. So what we're going to do is to click on this little workflow dropdown and then change create background to create tile. And that'll put that up here in the top left hand corner. Now before we start adding all the video tracks, what you want to do is design everything with just this one tile in place. You'll see why in a moment, but it just makes life way easier. So what I would tend to do is to click on this preview layout box and it will just give you a preview of how it's gonna look. So here we've got one, two, three, and four. This one here has got the zebras on it and you know that that's because this video is gonna be appearing in our tile number one. And then within this globals button, scroll down and you can start to change the layout. So we can increase or decrease the columns, the rows, we can stagger them horizontally, vertically, and then we can also amend the rounding. And then we can also amend the margins and the spacing. So just decide on the overall look and feel for your split screen or video collage from here. Once you're happy with that, click on this tiles tab. And then you've got manage tiles. So at the moment, as I mentioned, this clip is set to tile number one, which you can see here, tile one. If we change that to tile two, the zebras will go on tile two, tile three, tile four, etc. And then underneath here, you've got some more options. So these are options for the individual tiles rather than the collage as a whole. Now there's lots of options in here. As always, I recommend you just have a play, see what works for you, but I will just recommend a few ones which look really nice. First of all, you've got the resize content. So if I just unpreview this, you can see here there's a bit of yellow poking through. And that's because this clip doesn't actually fill the box. So what I may need to do in this resize content is just zoom in a little bit, or we can do tilt, we can do pans, we can just amend the clip within the tile so that it perfectly fits as we want it. 
If we scroll down, we've got tile styling, so we can add borders if we want to, and then we can change the color of the border. So let's just increase that. My border is yellow at the moment. So we can just increase the border or decrease it as we need to. I'll leave that without. We've got a drop shadow, so I'm gonna increase that drop shadow. And then let's just move the distance a little bit. So it just makes it pop from that background a little bit more. We'll leave that as it is. And then you've got this one, which is really cool. So you've got the tile animation. So by default, it won't have any animation. The tile will just be sitting there as it is. But if we go to the tile animation and then change animate from manually keyframe to either intro, in which case it will animate at the beginning, outro, just at the end, or we can have intro and outro. So I'm going to click that one and then we can choose the animation. So we've got the fly animation, the shrink animation, and then we can tick the boxes accordingly. So I've got shrink at the moment. So we've got this shrink animation. We can shrink it, shrink the height or shrink the width. So I'll leave it as that. And if we go to the very beginning and just hit play, it will automatically animate that tile for us. And if we go to the end, it will just animate it back out again. If you want, you can tick multiple of these boxes. So rather than just having shrink, let's also have fly and it's going to fly to the right. So if we hit play now, it's going to fly in like so. So again, just have a play with these, tick some boxes, change the animations to get something that works for you. Now, once you're happy with the design of the individual tile and of the collage as a whole, what you want to do is right click on this clip on the timeline and we're going to go to copy or you can use the keyboard shortcut of control and C. We're then going to add another video. So let's just click this one, drag it, and we'll put it on top like so. And then we're going to right click we're going to go to paste attribute or we can use the shortcut of alt and v and then we just want to tick all of these video attributes so we're just going to tick this video attributes here just to tick everything and then we can click apply and that will apply all of those video collage effect settings from this original clip onto this second clip but as you can see they're both in the same place which is why we can only see this one tile up here so then we just need to click on this second clip here in the inspector, go to effects, go to the tiles tab. You can see it's set to tile one, so we're going to change that to tile two, or we could set it to tile three or tile four. So let's go with tile two. Now, if you wanted to make any additional changes to this tile, so let's say you want to animate this top right one differently to the top left one, you could then do so. So we'll just go to the tile animation. It's got all the same settings that pulled through from the original because we copied it. But let's say I want the animation for this one to fly left instead. Then if we go to the beginning and just hit play, the one's flying in from the right and the other's flying in from the left. So then let's just grab a third one. We'll put that one up there. We're going to use my Alt and V and then apply just to paste everything in there. We'll give it a click. We'll go to effects. We'll change the tile to tile three. And then last but not least, we'll do just one more. Same thing, Alt and V, click apply, go to the effects, change the tile to tile four, and there we go. And now we've got this all set up. We've got our background color, which we can just change and amend and do whatever we want with. And if we just hit play, everything will animate in. Again, you can customize all the different animations if you want to, and each one will individually animate as it runs out. Or of course, what you could do is just bring them all to be the same length, and then if we hit play at the end, they'll all animate out because we've set that outro animation. And it's as easy as that. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, you want to see some more DaVinci Resolve tutorials and a bunch of other stuff, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.